What are the top 10 reasons you're not seeing the results you want on your current fitness and nutrition plan? I'm Ash Brockington with the Busy Girl Society and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now of course, this is all subjective. Everybody's going to have their different opinions on what these top 10 things would be. But I'm going to share with you what I believe from my personal body experience and my experience coaching other busy women in health and fitness. Number one, you're not following a specific fitness plan. You're just kind of winging it. Like I'm going to run, I'm going to do the elliptical, I'm going to lift these weights or you're skipping days. You're not following it to a T. Like you're not following a program that's been tested and proven to get results with lots of other people. Because if you are, then you can trust it. If you're not, you're just hoping that it works out. Number two, you could actually be pushing your body too hard. Now, I'm going to just say it right here. This is probably not <laughs> the thing, like the reason for most people, but you might be, you know, Googling this right now and because you are pushing really hard and not seeing the results. So maybe it's that you're not sleeping enough. Maybe you're working out too much. Maybe you're following a program, but then you're doubling up and you're doing more. Maybe you are very stressed. Maybe you're not eating enough and you messed up your metabolism because all of those things can mess up your hormones, can make your cortisol levels go high, can make you be inflamed, can make your body stop um, digesting your food correctly. So if you are following a program that you know is tested to get results, but then you're adding a bunch to it, or you're following a nutrition program, but you're not eating enough, does that make sense? Like you're doing what you should be, but then you're trying to cut corners. That could be the problem. Number three, it's the opposite. You've gotten lazy. You know what to do, so you think you're doing it in theory or most of the time or you used to, but in reality, you're skipping two, three, four, even more days a week of your workouts. You're just not putting your heart into it or during your workouts, you're going through the motions. You're not tracking your weight. You're not pushing yourself. You're not giving it all you have, going as fast or as hard or whatever. You're not you know, increasing your weights. You're just kind of going through the motions. If you do that, your body's gonna, like, you're not gonna see change. You're gonna plateau. Number four, let's go to nutrition. Here's the fourth reason maybe you are not seeing the change you think you deserve or should see on your nutrition and fitness plan. This I see a lot. You just are winging the nutrition. You're trying to eat clean, but you're not following a specific nutrition plan. You're not, even if you're eating super, super clean, if you're not eating by macros enough proteins and carbohydrates and really looking at those and fruits, you're not going to see the changes you want. It really matters that you've got that balance of fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and fruits. Now veggies, eat your heart out on veggies. Eat your heart out on veggies. That's not the problem. You need to eat, to eat lots of veggies. People get off on the balance of those other parts and that throws off. A calorie isn't a calorie. They're not looking at the nutrition. So if you're just eating clean, which is what caused my plateau for years and years and years is I thought I was just eating clean. I didn't know the specific portions. Number five, you're cheating cheating way more than you think. You're not counting, you know, the soda or the granola bar. Those aren't healthy, they're candy bars. You know, or the popcorn at the movie theater or the Chick-fil-A sandwich with fries. You're not counting all those things, you know, or the pizza or the nachos or the tacos. You're not counting those things. You're eating clean at home or you're thinking you do, but you're not really counting those cheats. And this is from personal experience. It's like every time I was out of the house, that didn't count. I was doing good enough and it just, it wasn't getting any results. And here's the other thing is that your body might have a lot of healing to do, a lot of healing. So whereas somebody with a really fine tuned body where they're, they're healthy, like their gut is healthy, their organs are working really, really well, they may be able to handle those cheats those cheat meals, snacks, whatever, way better just because their body is a stronger machine. Doesn't mean that you can't ever get there. Not that you want to just have an excuse to, you know, cheat and eat crap all the time. But if you really work towards healing every day and don't move back, like go backwards, you will afford yourself a little bit more freedom in the future. Number six, you have food intolerances that you're either, once again, kind of like cheating around the edges, like, oh, Oops, didn't know that had gluten. Oh, 
yeah, I guess I just, I know it had dairy, but I just really wanted the pizza, you know? Or you're just like totally either naive or not even gonna go there to figure out if you have them. So you're frustrated with why your body's always inflamed, you've got some pudge and you're feeling yucky and you're not seeing results, but you're not willing to do the hard work to start to eliminate things like gluten, dairy, soy, refined sugar. You know, so some people obviously have issues with nuts and other types of um, nightshades and different things like that, but I would start with the gluten, soy, and dairy and refined sugar. Remove those and I think you will see wondrous things happen to your body. Okay, the seventh thing that I think holds a lot of people back from seeing the results that they should is that they are looking too much at calories instead of long-term health and what's best for their body. So for instance, they see exercise as calories or steps on the Fitbit. They don't see like, what is this doing? Is this building muscle? Is it building endurance? Am I stretching? What is this doing for my body? They see food as calories. Is this going to set me back? How does this balance out with the cardio or the workout I did? Instead of seeing, is this going to heat, are the nutrients in here going to help heal my body? Or does my body need healthy carbohydrates now because I'm lacking energy? Or does my body need healthy carbohydrates because I'm gonna do you know, a weightlifting program? Does my body need protein to repair the muscles that I just worked out really hard? You know, Do I need more fats to help with brain function? What does your body, do you need way more vegetables for fiber and for nutrients? What does your body need? That's what you need to be looking at because when you're just looking at calories that has that breaks down and removes the need for healing and optimal function in your organs and when you stop having optimal function in your organs, your hormones and all of that, that's when you start to get to the point where you're going to have to work so much harder to get results. We're almost done. Number 9. The ninth reason that you might that you might not be seeing results. This is like a little tweak. The last two are kind of little tweaks that I've experienced. So that's why I'm sharing them because I had been doing most everything on the list except with my nutrition. I had gotten a little bit lax. I would eat some tortilla chips like every now and then, you know, maybe have like some wine or a margarita, but I was doing so well and I felt I had earned that. And I had, but because of a time of a lot of stress, my body stopped making hydrochloric acid at least enough. And so what happened is I stopped breaking down proteins. When I stopped breaking down proteins, I started to get incredibly bloated, lots of pain. I felt awful. I gained a bunch of weight quickly. And so that would be like my one of my last kind of like everything else you're doing perfectly. Don't go here first go to everything else one through eight that we've gone through first and make sure you are being honest with yourself on how you're really doing and don't compare yourself to others if they're doing 75 30 clean eating you may have to do 99 percent one to get your body to the healing point that it needs but once you've done that then you might want to look at betaine hydrochloride and google a hydro bait a hydrochloride or a hcl challenge to see if you need to take some betaine hydrochloride with pepsin which is the hydrochloric acid that our stomach makes to break down protein with meals for a while to help your body remember how to make the hydrochloride and to help digest that food. And that brings us to the 10th reason you may not be seeing the results. You could have candida or a parasite. And that's what happened with me. When my body got very stressed out by just some stuff that was happening in our life, trying to sell a house back in Florida, got really stressful, my body stopped making the hydrochloric acid. And so what happened is I stopped digesting the protein, I started to gain some weight, felt really sick, and also because that hydrochloric acid helps sterilize your stomach and the foods coming in, I started to get an overgrowth of uh, candida and parasite. And that just got out of the control and it got really like puffy and big, I mean all types of issues. And so because of that, I've had to go on basically a candida diet. And that is, I've had to cut out almost all fruits. I have berries about one to three times a day. I eat lots of vegetables, healthy fats. Bone broth is great for you. Proteins, you wanna limit carbohydrates, especially processed carbohydrates, but quinoa, I would say brown rice are the best ones. When you are looking at labels, nothing that has, like you want a zero sugar count. I would say zero to six sugar count but really probably keep it at, I try to keep mine at like eight to 10 grams 